Well, we've enjoyed a beautiful weekend here across the region today, feeling a little bit more like summer before we head back to some fall conditions here later on this week. Temperatures today topped off into the mid and upper 80s here for the region. 90 being reached in Red Wing. Certainly a hot one out there today and comparing this evening to what we were at this time yesterday. We're about 5 to 10 degrees warmer right now than what we were yesterday evening, but still staying mild out there so far at 72 degrees here in Rochester with those clear skies. Winds remaining on the breezy side of the south southeast around 11 miles per hour. Dew points still hanging out in those low to mid 60s, but widespread temperatures here across the region sitting into those low and mid 70s. We'll stay on the milder side here for the overnight hours and overall things staying pretty quiet here as we take a live look at your Lewis Donato camera in downtown Rochester. Things staying pretty quiet here this evening, looking to see clear skies throughout the rest of tonight, but as we look towards our north West kind of seeing that line there some showers and thunderstorms impacting portions of uh, northwestern Minnesota that's being associated with the cold front uh, kind of being fired off because of that front. So this is that a front that we're going to be watching pretty closely. It'll make its way uh, to the south throughout the rest of tonight and looking to bring some shower and thunderstorm activity to our neck of the woods as we head into tomorrow late in the morning and especially throughout much of the afternoon. So overall things looking to stay pretty quiet and mild here tonight. Heading into tomorrow, though, tracking the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms for throughout much of the late morning or starting possibly into the late morning, but especially for the afternoon and evening time frame. Heavy rainfall looking to be a big concern here with this system. And as we continue then from Tuesday and beyond, we're going to see conditions feeling a little bit more like fall out there as these temperatures turn a little bit cooler for the next several days. But as we kind of time things out here for the rest of this evening, staying clear and quiet tonight, temperatures on the milder side into those mid 60s overnight. As we start the clock off then on your Monday morning at about six o'clock or so, we'll see kind of just get those first few rays of sunshine there. Uh, otherwise, cloud cover will be building then over the next few hours from there as we head towards about 10 a.m. or so, kind of looking at uh, the first line of some showers and thunderstorms kind of start to fire off and move into our area, kind of getting towards that I-35 corridor by about that 10 o'clock hour. As we continue towards about noon, looking to see some of that for those first little bit there of the showers and thunderstorms to get towards the Rochester area, continuing towards the east. But as we head towards about the three o'clock hour, looking to see kind of that second line kind of impacting, starting to impact parts of our area, continuing throughout the rest of the late afternoon into the early evening hours. Most folks look to be a bit drier than as we head towards about nine o'clock or so. This system looking to be exiting our region. Still a little bit of some cloud cover and a few uh, rain showers maybe lingering by about that nine, 10 o'clock hour. But otherwise then conditions looking to clear up throughout the overnight hours heading into Tuesday morning. Look to be a bit brighter and quieter as we continue into the rest of the upcoming week with those temperatures. Look to be a little bit cooler back into mid 60s for those highs. So in terms of rainfall totals looking to pick up a bit here for our area. Look to pick up anywhere from about a half of an inch towards about an inch and a half at most. Maybe seeing that, uh, that being more so localized to uh, some isolated pockets upwards of about that inch to an inch and a half mark. So certainly some wet weather that we need here for the area and temperatures. Like I said, heading into Tuesday, dipping down, becoming a bit cooler than average for this time of the year. Tomorrow looking to be slightly above into those mid 70s. But we'll be back into those mid, low to mid, excuse me, mid to upper 60s for Tuesday into the start of next weekend. So looking to cool down once we get past tomorrow, but tonight staying on the mild side with, with clear skies here expected throughout the region and heading into your Monday, then tracking that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms with that cloud cover increasing throughout the morning. Temperatures will be mild in seasonal, excuse me, into the mid 70s with rain chances really increasing after the 10 a.m. hour. So as we check out your extended forecast, then planning ahead for some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout mo late Monday afternoon, excuse me, late Monday morning into the afternoon or in evening hours and looking to be a bit brighter, cooler mm -hmm. and much quieter for the rest of the week. Looks more like fall to me, which looking a little bit more okay like with. fall, a little bit more <laughs> like that sweater weather, especially mm -hmm. in the morning and the late Hoodie evenings. Weather. We love it. There you go. Thanks, Sarah. Well, the Vikings